So you've just heard about RSS, and I'm going to show you um, how you can actually use that in iTunes. Um, if you anybody subscribe to podcasts, okay. So you're using RSS already, whether you realize it or not. All a podcast is is an RSS feed, and one of the magic elements of that is the enclosure, and that will take each item of a channel, each post, and include a media file. In a podcast, it's usually an MP3 file, and it syncs up with your iPod. But for a video blog, it can be a video just as easily. So I'm sure this is one of your favorite websites. Um, <laughs> Homepage. Yes. So bo both of these point to an RSS feed. Um, the catch is, this one goes directly to iTunes. So if you see something like that, this is someone who not only has an RSS feed, they're actually listed in the Apple iTunes directory. And if you click that, it'll automatically open iTunes, you subscribe to it just like a normal podcast. All your videos will be delivered. Um, but there's plenty of, of video bloggers out there that aren't in the iTunes directory. And if that's the case, all you have to do is copy, I'm pointing at the screen so you can see it. All you have to do is copy the URL from this link the, the RSS button. And in iTunes, go to Advanced, subscribe to Podcast, and you can just enter that URL directly there. And then it's as if they were in the iTunes directory for you. So the next time you load iTunes, it'll sync up with their latest videos, their latest MP3s, whatever they're publishing, and you can sync it up. Um, and then one really cool thing you can do both as a viewer and as a, as a producer, is once you have the iPod, it's really simple to watch your video blogs on the TV. Um, it's just, it's basically one cable from the iPod to the TV, and you can uh, watch all your favorite video blogs on the TV. For those people who don't have an iPod, however, there are some interesting devices out in the market which let you view media RSS feeds on your television. And uh, it's only a matter of time before other devices like uh, you know, the Direct TV DVR or, or TiVo start doing this as well. And here's an example of a similar device. This is a uh, Steve Garfield.